Say hi. She loves giving kisses. She's so cute, huh? Say hi. Hi. Say you should subscribe to Liz because she is my best friend. Thank you. Love you. Kisses. She's a little camera shy sometimes. Say, where should we follow you at, Lil? You guys should follow her at Queen Lily Rose <laughs> on Instagram. She has more followers than me. I love her so much. She's so good. Okay. We'll say bye. Bye. Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me video. So I'm gonna just do the eye makeup once again. I've got to film doing my foundation. Um, but it's going to be more of like a chit chatty like video, so I'm gonna be like talking my way through everything. Um, I found this look that I saw on Pinterest and I wanted to try it out, so I was like, let's do it, you know? So this is the look right here. So it's a really cute like pink Barbie eye with a little bit of sparkles and then just a winged eyeliner. Um, so I just thought yeah, I'm gonna try to recreate it and see how it goes. I just ran up the stairs, so I'm like losing my breath. <laughs> One second. All right, so I'm going to try to recreate this look now. Um, let's hope it goes good. So if you're new to my channel, hi, hello, my name is Liz. I make beauty and fashion videos, and I try to post them like every single week. Some point of the week, it's usually on a Tuesday or a Thursday. <laughs> so if you like this channel, you should definitely subscribe. The subscribe button, <laughs> I can't speak to it. The subscribe button somewhere floating around over here, and then all my social media links too. So hey, let's be friends. What's up? Hey. So first I'm going to be using my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I love this stuff. It keeps on my eye makeup all day. You know, you dig? Cool. So I'm just going to apply that all over my lid. above and then whatever I have left on my finger I'm just putting it like, underneath my eye. Doesn't need to be a lot, you know? Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna be using on my eyes is Beaches and Cream. This is a makeup geek single and like a lot of people use those. It's nothing new, like yeah, okay. So I'm gonna be taking this brush that I got from Target and it's literally so cheap and so great and I've had it for about five years. So yeah. Okay, so I'm going to just put that right onto my lid, bringing it up just like a little bit into my crease. This just is like acting as a base for my eyes so that my shadow will like go on easier and blend out better. So when I'm looking at the picture, I see that she doesn't really have that much of a transition shade, um, which I'm not going to do something crazy for my transition shade, but I'm going to lightly put in like a copper color into my crease. I'm going to be going in with my MAC Warm Neutral Palette and if you've been watching a few of my videos you know I probably use this in like every single video because I love this palette so much. I love it and because like all these colors I'm pretty sure you can get as singles as well so like if you like a, pa like, a color from the palette you can go out and buy it or like they're very not I won't say similar but like they're pretty similar to like other things too so uh, they're easier to find. So I'm going to take this crease brush, and it's from Snoodio Tools, I believe, once again from Target. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just lightly put that into my crease. I'm not going to blend in hard into my crease because I want it to be very light and airy and, like, whimsical. Okay. And you're just really going to, like, blend it out. So when you're doing this, like, just make sure that um, you start on your outer corner and bring it in because um, when you put your brush down, when you have all the product on it, uh, it's going to go darkest on the outer corner and then bring it in because, I mean, you can see it is super, super light anyway, but you don't want to um, jab in all the darkness <laughs> on the inner corner of your eye. You want to do it on the outer corner. Does that make sense? We're gonna blend until our hands are killing us. So I'm going to go in with this pretty Too Faced palette here, and I love it so, so much. I forget what the palette's name is. 
but I will have a annotation around my face somewhere what the name of this palette is. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go in with this top color right here. It's called White Christmas, and I'm going to use that as a highlight on my eyes. So I'm going to take this smudger brush, once again, from like Studio Tools, from Target, something like that, and I'm just going to apply that right above my brow, because I want my brow bone to, you know, pop, you know, want it to be like lifted, cool, fresh, fun. I'm putting this in after I put the transition shade on. Usually I'll put it on before, but because um, I don't want any like harsh lines to go into my transition right above my eye. Um, I'm doing this so it softens it up a little. So now I'm going to go in with Max Espresso. Alright, so I'm going to be taking a Morphe E22 brush. And I'm just going to lightly tap it on to my brush. Alright, so now I'm going to be putting that into my outer corner very lightly once again because we want to keep this look very light and like princessy. So, uh, yeah. Once again, I'm starting on the outer corners because I don't want the product to be concentrated on the inside. I just want to like gradually bring it in. So now that we have this, I want to bring some like gold into this look. I'm just trying to find like a more of like a matte gold. I'm going to be going in with this Tarte palette that is freaking old as well. And it's in the Femme Natural. Alright, so I'm going to be taking this color up here and this color down here. They're both kind of like champagne-y uh, gold colors. And I'm going to be taking two brushes because you got to blend it out a little bit. Um, so I'm just going to take this brush. It's an eyeshadow brush from like Estee Lauder. It's like a from palette thing. I don't know, my Nana got it. <laughs> so I'm going to be taking just like little dabs of that because this product is very, very concentrated. And I'm going to put that right into my crease and a little bit below um, into my lid. And then this is kind of like when we start getting a little bit of the sparkles. And then if it just looks a little bit messy, I'm just going to blend it out because I don't want it to look harsh. Alright, so this pink is very light and soft and like a baby pink. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is going back to that Too Faced palette, that pink palette, and I'm going to use the colors Delightful and a little bit of Skyline, which is actually a blush, but you can use it on your eyes. I mean, whatever. I'm just going to blend those two in and create the perfect light baby pink. Super, super cute. Oh my god. So now I'm just going to go in and lightly clean it up a little and just kind of blend it in so it's not too, too harsh. Alright, so now I'm going back in with that palette once again. I'm going to use Satin Sheets, which is up here. It's like highlight color. Um, and I'm going to... So now I'm just going to apply that right into my inner corners, just so my eyes can pop a little bit more. And I'm actually just going to apply like a little bit right in the middle, just to create like a little bit more of like a halo effect. Oh yeah. It's just like one of those little subtle touches that like really makes the eye makeup. Hey guys, I'm bringing you down here. <laughs> I'm all the way up here and I'm all the way down here. I'm all the way up. So I'm taking the NYC liquid eyeliner. It's like a really, really good. It's just in like a really black color. either like your best friend or it's like not. Alright, so uh, this is it so far and I'm going to now go back into that palette. I'm just kind of like letting this like dry up a little. I'm gonna go back into that palette and get a little bit more of the two pinks and very very lightly I'm like dusting it off like a lot. 
I'm just bringing it down a little bit more. Alright, so now I'm going to be taking the Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes. Aqua? Aqua? <laughs> Aqua Eyes. I'm just going to lightly line my eyes, uh, line my, my, my lower lash line. Alright, so while that is drying, <laughs> I will tell you what I did because I just went into like high <laughs> lash surgery. <laughs> Alright, so first thing that I did was apply mascara to my eyes. I just used my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. It's in the color Carbon Black. Um, so I used this uh, just to put all over my eyes and I also did underneath my eyes as well. You can really see. You can really see that I put them underneath my eyes as well. And then I use the Cara eyelashes in number 48 in black. I got like a pack of legit 20 <laughs> um, from Amazon for really cheap so that was pretty cool and they're very very voluminous. So now I'm just going to go over with my liquid eyeliner once again. I'm just going to fill in any patches that um, may look a little bit white or anything from the glue. Alright, so we're almost done, I swear. So one of the last things other than my lipstick um, I'm going to be doing is taking the Revlon Photo Finish Eye Art Lid Lash and Line, and I'm going to take the glitter shard of it. I'm just going to take the glitter side of it, and then just like lightly tap some onto my lid, and then just pat it in with my ring. Well, my one of my fingers with my ring finger. Alright, so for a lip, I'm going to be applying my Urban K Vince lipstick in the color Safe Word. It's like a really pretty, like, nudie beige. And then I'm also going to be taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in Undressed. And this is just like a really, um, it's like a really thick lip gloss, but it's very, very nude. So this is the finished look. I kind of wish the lids turned out a little bit more pink, but I think with all the eyeliner, I probably should have brought it up a little bit more. <laughs> um, but yeah. You do not want to get to set your face. I'm going to use the NYX Matte Finish Finny Matte, and it's um, just a long-lasting uh, setting spray. Mmm. 